Hello there, my name is Sixo, but more on that later as it's time for a bit of a birthday celebration. Yes, high-end techno dream factory RoboSend Robotics burst onto the Transformers UK collector scene one year ago now, and it's only fair to say they've made quite the splash in that time, with no less than three separate Optimus Prime designs, plus some incredible other bits and bobs besides, all culminating in their newest release, the mighty Grimlock. Among the winners, there is no room for the weak! It's incredible to see just how busy they've been in a short space of time. Especially as for many of us, the mere sight of just one of their products in action is quite literally a fantasy made real. We've become so used to watching Optimus Prime transform and roll out on screen that when he's suddenly doing it right in front of you in your living room, you kind of have to pinch yourself a little bit, even now. Still, despite so much going on, it's notable that Robosen are not resting on their laurels. With a clear and evident progression over many aspects of their output when you look at them one by one. So to celebrate their one year anniversary, we're counting down six ways RoboSend's robots have evolved so far. Number six, technology. It might sound obvious given the inherent nature of RoboSend's product line, but these are not your average robots in disguise toys. In fact, they're not toys at all. They're actual robots. And as you'd expect, that means a fair dose of state-of-the-art technology under the skin. However, when you compare their roster, it becomes quickly apparent RoboSend have developed their offering to suit various price points. With everything from more straightforward and simple fare, such as the non-transforming Bumblebee, all the way through to the complex higher end of things with Grimlock, which even objective is the company's most impressive outing to date. That's most clearly demonstrated by a simple look at the amount of microchips and servo motors involved with each, as even the non-tech minded of us who have little idea how these things work in practice can appreciate the comparative differences in such plain numerical contrast. It also means that whilst we might naturally look to analyse the merits of their various products against one another, it's all a bit apples and oranges when you stack Bumblebee versus Grimlock. The two are attempting very different things at the end of the day. Naturally that's also reflected in in their price points, with the Dinobot leader commanding a significantly higher sum than anything Robosen has produced thus far. Though when you consider all the nuts and bolts quite literally crammed into this thing to bring it to life, the monetary side of things starts to make a little more sense somehow. Ultimately it feels as though the aim is to have a wide variety of offerings with a range of proportionate price tags, reflecting the technology inherent to each release. Beyond that though, there's no doubt Robosen is also pushing the boundaries with every subsequent design, and again, the best evidence is simply watching the the fluid excellence and technological bravado of Grimlock at play. Their Optimus Prime design remains nothing shy of incredible, but dare I say you can quite literally see the advancements in action when comparing the two side by side, with the irony being it's the dinosaur who is the most futuristic feeling in this case. It's good to be king! Number 5 aesthetics. There are other ways Grimlock feels a significant step forward for Robosen, and one of those is in the aesthetics on offer, with the Dinobot leader coming off as the current culmination in terms of the company's physical style. Let me clarify by saying none of their products is a slouch in the looks department thus far. What's been interesting is that, if anything, we've seen them experimenting with different styles to better fit each respective release. Compared to their original Optimus design, Bumblebee is significantly smoother and more anime styled, pursuing a distinct cartoon vibe instead of the balance influences present on the Autobot Commander. Similarly, their Rise of the Beast Optimus has his own independent look and feel yet again, aping the grim and gritty vibe of the big screen film with a heavy dose of robotic detailing, and a rather spectacular weathered finish. Comparing this Prime to Bumblebee is night and day in many regards, to the point where I've had people asking me online if what they're seeing is a 3-0 release of some kind, given the gorgeous finish on offer. Ultimately though, both these styles fit the intended product, so it is again with Grimlock, which almost returns to the original Prime's playbook by showcasing a more blended style of influence, though that's not a great surprise when you see how closely it matches the look of Masterpiece MP8 in many ways. It's quite clear when comparing the two that Robosen has been granted access to the same core design specs. It's not just a case of the two sharing a similar look at a passing glance, as many of the finer details are directly comparable on both figures besides, albeit significantly upscaled for the Masterpiece's more technological big brother. To my eye, this is a clever move on Robosen's part as they've taken what was already a widely celebrated design on MP8 and weaponized it by filling it full of their robotics and features, giving collectors a product which not only looks the part, but moves like it too. However, whilst Grimlock might share a similar vibe to Prime, it also boasts an additional dose of nuance and polish to the aesthetic at the same time. The appearance of the robot mode is more cohesive somehow, with less gaps or compromises that make it stand out as a fully functioning robot, to the point where it actually looks more akin to a very large toy, if anything. 
largely passing as something you could gladly pop on your shelf in a display somewhere. I suppose that's really the ultimate compliment, as it feels like Robosen's offering is coming full circle by wholly imitating an aesthetic already so familiar and cherished by Transformers fans. Number 4. Screen Accuracy I've already talked about the differing visual goals of the various entries in Robosen's catalogue, but it's worth making particular mention of their Rise of the Beast Optimus yet again, not least because of how accurately and uncannily it brings the big screen Autobot leader to life. Yet it's not just the visual similarities to the movie that are worth mentioning in this case. Ever since the first live action outing of the robots in disguise, collectors have been inundated with a wide variety variety of products that seek to recreate the on-screen characters in all manner of different ways, and across numerous price points. Yet Robosense Prime is something we've honestly never seen in quite the same way, as it not only captures the physical presence of the film itself, but the spirit of the character through its actions and dialogues, even directly re-enacting several key quotes from the story. If we are to die, then we will die fighting all as one. In truth, I would have liked much more of this slavish big screen imitation, as no doubt the majority of actions and phrases feel more general Optimus Prime archetype than they do riffing off Rise of the Beast specifically. But still, it's a significant step in an intriguing direction, and one that feels directly more targeted than on other Robosen fare thus far. Sure, their classic Optimus may offer up any number of iconic quotes from cartoon episodes of yesteryear, all with the aim of pushing the big red nostalgia buttons so many collectors appreciate. Yet something about the Rise of the Beast Prime feels different to that, as it's so closely moulded around this one particular piece of Transformers media as to be a real celebration for diehard fans of this one specific film. Again, that's also true in the style of the physical design, which so superbly realises the worn and grimy presence of the Autobot leader as we meet him during the story. All in all, it leaves me wondering if we might see more hyper-slavish screen recreations from Robosen moving forward, because in that arena there lies a whole world of possibilities. Number 3. Transformation Ever since the first glimpse of Robosen's flagship Optimus Prime, one aspect which has had fans buzzing is the auto-conversion between modes, and no doubt for very understandable reasons. After all, transforming is so inherently part of the franchise that it's in the title, no less. The characters aren't just called Transformers, it's what they do. Well, except for trademark purposes, of course. Still, as much as a whole plethora of incredible capability is crammed in under the bonnet of these things, there will always be a sort of signature mass appeal to seeing your childhood favourites transform on command. So much so that the magic remains intact even after repeated attempts. Sure, not every member of Robosense catalogue is able to undertake the process, but of the ones that can, you can immediately spot a definite sense of refinement and advancement in how it all works, with Grimlock once again proving that he is the indisputable top dog in this arena. You could argue Optimus's transformation is about as complex as it really needs to be, recreating the classic conversion of the vintage design to a large extent, though with a bit of additional flair along the way. Perhaps the only real downside is how Prime ends up facing the wrong way, but this aside, it's all quite superbly sleek and no doubt inspires a kind of childlike awe not quickly forgotten, yet it can't help but play second fiddle to the sheer majesty of Grimlock's conversion, which is just pure technological poetry in motion and immediately feels like a significant step up from the company's already impressive output. A lot of that is down to the finer details, such as how the robot hands so subtly and smoothly tuck away inside the little opening panels in the forearms, or the undeniably clever spring-loaded panels in the backpack, which fold in and out of place depending on modes. There's more noticeable stuff at play here too though, including a spectacular number of sizeable panels all neatly folding into precision place for the tail section of the dino mode, not to mention the upper half coming together with a glorious final head flip, which feels highly reminiscent of the cartoon. Perhaps it helps yet again that the overall figure cribs so much from the masterpiece design, taking large swathes of the transformation scheme with it. But even then, it's only fair to say that watching Robosen Grimlock do its thing is a very specific kind of unparalleled delight, and one which capably demonstrates just how much the company has evolved their offering in a surprisingly short space of time. You raw! And you ugly too! Number 2 accessories. Although the core appeal of any Transformers release will always be the robot itself, fans have enjoyed some extensive accessories alongside the more traditional toys over the years, and it's beginning to feel like Robosen might be heading in a similar direction too. Again, that's evident by comparing the accompanying inclusions with the various releases thus far. First up, both flagship and Elite Optimus Primes kept things relatively straightforward, with a simple blaster and energy axe combo, which has been a consistent staple for plastic recreations of the Autobot leader for years. True, there's more available besides, 
if you also opt to pick up the separate trailer section for the larger design, which is a rather breathtaking sight all by itself with how it flips up and converts into the massive repair bay mode. Yet the trailer also features a motorized remote control recreation of Roller, as well as a scaled minifigure of Optimus's human pal Spike, all of which rounds off the overall package beyond what's included with the main bot himself. However, whilst Bumblebee may be a bit light on extras given he only comes with his signature hand blaster, it seems like Robosen may be looking to expand the offerings packaged in with some of their higher ticket releases. You can clearly observe that with the Rise of the Beast Prime for starters, which boasts a sizable arsenal and more besides, as well as the character's ion rifle, which features a neat light-up gimmick. There's a pair of add-on blades that can be tabbed onto the sides of the arms, and a separate handheld Energon axe too. Beyond that, the package contains multiple sets of swap-out hands for Optimus, highly similar to what you would find on a 3-0 design, allowing him to more expressively gesture when he's going through the motions. It makes for an extensive package overall, beyond anything we've seen from previous Robosen releases. Although again, Grimlock is also vying for a sizable piece of the action in this case. The copy I have in hand includes the character's iconic twin blaster and sword, but takes it a step further by adorning King Grim with a supremely shiny gold crown, as a fine acknowledgement of his days as Autobot leader during the classic Marvel Comics storyline. But wait, there's more, as it seems Robosen will also be offering an additional box of goodies when Grimlock is fully released, including a very natty bow tie, apron and drinks tray, which apart from looking quite resplendent on him, is a loving recreation of a memorable scene from the Sumbo cartoon's third season. There's even a little fish for him to hold, just as he did on screen back in the day, showing that Robosen are clearly leaning towards referencing key moments from fan favourite media in their designs. Let's hope they keep it up, as it's proving to be just another way their output continues to evolve. Number 1. Features and Gimmicks Finally, beyond the accessories and everything the robots can do in terms of strutting their stuff to your every vocal command, there's a clear trend towards Robosen packing in more and more additional features along the way. We first saw some comparatively simple evidence of that with Bumblebee, with the ability to change the colour of his headlights tucked away inside the accompanying app, and making for a cool additional touch when programming your own customised sequences. Then Rise of the Beast Prime is sporting a rather classic set of opening chest windows, revealing a delightfully decorative internal section with a built-in light-up matrix of leadership, which is a real surprise considering it's not even something we saw in the actual film. Yet again though, this evolution of extra gimmicks is best exemplified in Grimlock, who is so stacked with bonus features beyond what might be considered the standard fare by this point. Like Bumblebee, you can change the colour of the lights on display, although in this case it means a range of optic cues available in both modes, which is tons of fun and adds a bit of extra flavour when preparing the actions you'd like him to undertake. Equally, the character's personality quite palpably shines through in his dino mode whilst he's speaking, where a moving jaw helps to bring the Dinobot leader to life with aplomb. Add to that a light-up gimmick in the mouth for his finely tuned laser breath, and it all makes for quite the inclusion. The most awesome feature of Grimlock though is surely his ability to manoeuvre in both modes, something which Robosen themselves have been understandably keen to pick up by promoting him as the world's first dual form bipedal walking robot. In some ways I suppose this element should almost be expected, yet to see it in motion is so smooth and enjoyable that honestly it deserves highlighting all on its own merit, as it really shows just how evolved this release is versus anything that's preceded it. There's more though as Robosen continues to develop the mini theatre functionality found in the mobile apps relating to each release, allowing for interactivity between the robots themselves as they act out and perform some complex extended sequences for you to marvel at. Even just two of these things going at it in unison is a sight to behold, and it will no doubt get all the more awe-inspiring as the output burgeons. Finally, there's the promise of more to come in the future, such as the inclusion of AI to Robosense designs, beginning with their new interactive display stand, which allows you to access a built-in Amazon Alexa alongside a whole host of additional features and downloadable content for the existing robots in their roster. It all shows that yet again, Robosen has big ambitions, and will clearly continue to evolve these products as they go, which is a very exciting prospect when you consider what might be just around the corner in their release schedule. For today though, there's more than enough to marvel at when it comes to Robosen's current catalogue of robots, with Grimlock proving to be their crowning glory in an already impressive slate so far. Me Grimlock no bozo, me King. All of which is just one way of saying congrats to Robosen on one year in the UK. I am granting you permission to have the greatest birthday the universe has ever seen. Roll out. 
Now today's video was brought to you by TF Source, so I'll throw a link to their site in the description below where you can check them out for all your transformers and third party needs. Finally I'd love it if you could drop me a like for today's video please, and don't forget to let me know your thoughts on RoboSense Evolution. Otherwise that's it from me, so thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.